Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan and today we're hopping to another episode of 921's No Money Spent, you guys. Uh, today's episode, we're just going to be hopping into some more head-to-head -head seasons, but as you guys are seeing from the, the title, uh, yeah, we're going to be opening two free Legends Fantasy Packs, and if you're wondering how I got those, well, honestly, let's just go ahead and show you uh, right now. Now, I'm sure that most of you guys probably already knew why I have these two free ones, but check in the top right, we are max mutt level. I finally decided for once that I was going to grind it and get it done with, so I went ahead and did that, and along the way, uh, you know, some of it was two free Legends Fantasy Packs, so you know what, we're gonna open these right away, maybe get another glitchy pull, obviously no, uh, LTDs to pull this time, but hey, I was still, I would still definitely love a big time pull, uh, nice little Linval Joseph, BJ Goodson, so nothing too crazy, but we'll take these, Do I get one more, okay, sweet, so I get all the goods, I'm chilling with that, next we got a Super Bowl player, what's it gonna be, 86 Joe Flacco, that's time you wanna see, we get a base elite Joey Sly, maybe a big NFL 50 card, or the 50. 84 Devin Hester, and another base elite 84 Chris Harris Jr. Gonna take Joe Flacco, and you know what? We'll take the bolt Chris Harris. We get a, a smaller Ultimate Legend piece, 87 Derek Thomas. We get a Legends piece, 86 Steve McNair, and a Campus Heroes, maybe a big one. Only an 85, so uh, definitely wasn't an, an incredible first pack, but honestly, these are free, so... Most of these guys will just be converted to training, if I'm being honest. Uh, but yeah, hopping into our second free Legends Fantasy Pack. We're going to power up to start it off. Trent Bound, probably not going to do nothing. A couple silvers, silver, and then like three goals to end it off. So another pretty crappy pack, but it is what it is. Second round, 80 Miles Jack, 82 Eddie Jackson, 84 Tony G, and Desmond King. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab that boy Desmond. He's a Titan now. Oh, it's a Redux! 93 Robert Mathis. All right, I'll definitely take that. We can get another couple base legends. Definitely taking this 93 Robert Mathis. It's honestly a pretty solid pull for a free pack. Not sure how much he goes for. Could honestly sell him for training. I'm not honestly that sure, but yeah, that was our free legends fantasy packs. Now, obviously, I know I'm late to the party, but for those who maybe are still behind like I was, I'll kind of show you the rewards and what a solo I went ahead and, and did. Boom, okay, we're up, we're up to 81. So yeah, these exclusive store packs. I wish I kind of did these in the be beginning of the year like they did in Madden 20, but they only did points, so that sucks. This was our fantasy pack. We got uh, 90... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, I, I think I'm good now, but yeah, 96 overall power-up pass. 45k, more level challenges, another store pack, got more level challenges, fantasy pack, 45k, and of course, 97 overall power up, oh my god, power up pass. Alright, I you know I said I thought I was good before, but I think I should be good now, but yeah, 97 overall power up pass, um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm thinking about using that power up pass probably in the next few episodes, either 98 or 99, obviously definitely going to be before episode 100, which again, you guys, March 5th, be ready. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you the solo I did. Uh, if you head over to Rivals Quarterfinal Challengers, now all the YouTubers have shown this one. You go to the fifth one, I'm not going to get into it, but you do it on one star and do no huddle and then throw it to your outside receiver and go down after you cross the 40-yard line. You should be able to avoid the celebration, which speeds it up. So that is that. And then there's also... I don't, it's not a new player, but it's an upgraded player. I'm just going to go ahead and show you it, show him to you guys. So yeah, you guys, this is basically the upgraded player, Andre Johnson. I got, I did the level challenges to get him completely upgraded. He, he doesn't, he's actually starting to look like a pretty decent card. He was, he was a pretty good receiver at the beginning of the year, but just because he's a level master, he kind of falls behind on stuff. Like he, if he was a mutt master like Tory Holt, he'd probably be in a different story. But uh, yeah, he's not, he's honestly not looking like such, he, he looks okay. There's definitely a possibility that I might give him a shot one episode over Justin Jefferson just to see how, how he performs and if I like it. My only problem there is I like, obviously, Diggsy is, would be a very good slot receiver, but I kind of want to keep him as my number one just because he's played so well from that spot. But Andre Johnson is now the fourth guy. He may come in every now and then. And no, he's not replacing Lazard because Lazard is my boy. But, uh, yeah, this is the offense, you guys. Obviously, nothing has changed in today's episode. Just upgraded, um... Andre Johnson a little bit, and then this is the defense. Obviously, like I said, nothing changed. Got that LTD Cromarty on the squad. Special teams. Uh, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and uh, hop into some head-to-head -head seasons, and let's just hope it's not as bad as the last episode. 
All right, you guys. Honestly, I'm not sure if this little part's boring, just because I say it like every single episode. But like seriously, guys, if you do enjoy the content, like I would really appreciate you, you those who maybe aren't subbed to the channel, to please go ahead and do that. A lot of work goes into this behind the scenes. You know, you see a 10-minute video, and there's just a lot of hours that go in behind the scenes. So it would mean a lot if you guys can do that. Obviously, the goal is to get to 1K before Madden 22, which I mean, it's definitely possible, but with the game slowing down, it's a, it's a little bit weary. But hey, maybe we can get it would be like near impossible. But if you guys can get to 800 before March 5th, oh, that'd be an amazing birthday present. But obviously, that's gonna be a very very tough task. To get like what 60 subs in like a week. But hey, maybe you guys can do it. But uh, with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and hop into some uh, head dead seasons. Hopping into the game, you guys. Oh man. We really just got a free win. This, this is awesome. Uh, I all I gotta say is, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Just like last or the last time we had an opponent just as bad as this. The big question is how long is he gonna last in the game? In the first play, we get the user pick, Jamal Adams. Let's go. Hey, I guess it only took him one play. We're we're not one game away from the playoffs. Let's go, baby. Bye. Have a great time. Alrighty guys, hopping into the second game. We are on the road in Seattle. That's obviously our top three. How about my opponent? It's not bad. I have, I have yet to play against a Jimmy G, so it should definitely be interesting. Definitely don't like seeing my opponent coming out in uh, Gun Bunch. Okay, yeah. I, for a second, I thought it was going to be switched to a Trips, but it is still Gun Bunch. I'm playing underneath just in case he's going to be playing, you know, any like flats or something. And there's a curl right there to Tyreek. He's actually taking a deep crosser to Deion Sanders. Am I really going to play a guy who makes a million audibles before every play? Yep, this is... He's just one of those guys going to have a text route underneath. Oh, he definitely wanted to throw that. Maybe he throws the curl. He's got absolutely nothing open. There's no way he just got that to Darren Waller. I did play Sam Mills in a curl flat to see how that acts out. And he's got a text route up. Dude, I don't even know what to say about this right now. I want to run commit so bad. Third and goal from the one. He goes up the gut. He gets a touchdown. All right. I'm just kind of testing out to see if he's in man coverage or what. All right. We're going to have Diggsy on the corner route for first. Oh, great. He's running the cheese blitz thing off the edge. I'm definitely worried about that a little bit. But you know what? We're going to have Kittle on that slant to the left side once again for another first. Montez Sweat's not getting picked up. I don't have any answers for that. But, um, maybe we can get Diggsy. You know what? We actually should on the run. Russ. Oh, my God. That's just a throw that I cannot have Russ missing. Like, that's definitely a possible touchdown for Diggsy. We're going to go with the slant over the middle. Russ made up for it with a big-time throw under pressure. I'm going to try and run the ball here a little bit because I just can't seem to, uh, get... I'm just... That, that pressure off that, that left side is... Definitely getting me very uncomfortable with Monty with a big time game. No need to play around here. I am running right up the gut. I just need some blocking. Montgomery walks in for a touchdown. I got to find a way to stop this gun bunch. I, I don't know. It's just that curl route. I'm not sure if he does anything in the flats. Okay, he definitely does. He's got nothing open. Jimmy G on the run. And it's a Joey Bosa sack. Okay, this is not... I was not prepared for this right away. And, of course, you throw the delay fade. Of course, you throw the delay fade. He's going to come a yard short of the first down. Okay, I need Jamal to play man coverage. Oh, man. He's actually probably going to go back to his normal gun bunch plays. No, he doesn't. He's got stuff in the flats. He's got absolutely nothing open. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. 11 seconds. We just need the defense to make a play. Just like I said, no touchdowns. He's probably going to throw that curl route. Of course he did. He's got, Oh, he's not going to even get any points. That was really stupid. That's what you get for running Gun Bunch. With this guy running that, that blitz off the edge, I'm just kind of... That pressure has been getting it to me. So I'm going to try and run a lot in this second half as Montgomery picks up nine. And we'll see what uh, we can get here. Montgomery. Just don't get... Don't fumbles. Montgomery with the crease. Another big run for David. Third and five here. I just need some blocking. He's going to be setting probably at least five guys after me. He's actually only going to send four. Oh, my God. We might have Jefferson. You know what? I'm not going to force it. Oh, my God. I didn't see Montez sweat. That sucks. The only bad thing about running the ball as much as I did is I drained a lot of that clock. So, I'm definitely going to be in a tough spot. I'm going to throw that slant to Jefferson. I don't know why I did that. I needed, like, 19. I went with, like, a 15-yard slant. I know he's going to look at the same spot. So, I'm going to be playing Deion Sanders in a hard flat. I'm just really hoping no one beats me deep. He's probably going to look at that slant. Oh, just... Just swat it, just swat it, McCourty. Big
big time play, Devin. Get the ball back at, at our at my opponent's 37. Third and 12 here. I honestly just need to get about three to five yards to get into field goal range. And that's all I'm playing for. I'm gonna dump it underneath the Kittle. I'm not gonna get the first, but that's definitely gonna put me in field goal range. It's obviously very risky to play Deion Sanders in a uh, hard flat because it leaves that that right side of the field pretty open so I, i'm honestly just relying on jalen ramsey to cover that he probably wanted that slant it's not there he's gonna throw the curl come on the acrobat interception now that my friends is a game-changing interception from antonio Cromarty. i'm hoping my opponent expects run i put on two clock gonna run a play action okay he didn't we should be able to hit george kittle that got very risky but he picks up a first and we're going to head to the two-minute warning. Here we go, third and six. I am definitely looking for Montgomery to seal this game. You know what? We're definitely going to have Diggsy. Low ball it. Stephon Diggs. Clutch catch. And my opponent's got one timeout. I think this game is almost over. If you guys are wondering why I'm going for it at the one-yard line, it's because if I don't get it, my opponent has to go a very long ways to win the game. Montgomery comes up short. I just hope that doesn't come back to bite me. I am straight up just going to play prevent defense. My opponent is running the ball. Why would you do that? That is the ball game. And you guys, we're going right back to the playoffs. Man, you guys, it feels amazing to be back in the postseason. Honestly, this squad's playing amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm honestly not shocked. But man, we are. I'm, I'm just ready for this Super Bowl run. Obviously, again, you guys, episode 100 is around the corner. So be ready for that. I'm going to make sure I keep saying that. But yeah, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead down below and subscribe. And while you're down there, hit that bell notification to be notified for all future no spent episodes. With the big city guys, better board them out. Peace out, you guys.